Now that you've read the notes, this is just a quick demonstration of how to derive some of the Bernoulli polynomials and the Bernoulli numbers using Mathematica. So remember that our definition of the Bernoulli polynomials was that we took this function of both x and t, expanded it as a power series in t around t equals 0, and collected coefficients. And coefficients were polynomials in x. So we can get a coefficient out of a power series with this handy series coefficient function. And the series coefficient of function comma variable point to expand around power gives you the coefficient of t to the j in the power series for this for function expanded around 0. So the Bernoulli polynomial should be j factorial times the coefficient of t to the j. And we can use this to make a table of the first couple Bernoulli polynomials. So you see that b0 is 0, b1 is x, b2 is x squared minus x, and so on and so forth. Full simplify will factor the polynomial where it can. So the Bernoulli numbers are defined to be the numerical coefficients of powers of t in the expansion of this function, which contains only t's. So we can get this again with series coefficient used in a similar way and make a table of Bernoulli numbers. So here's my table of Bernoulli numbers. b0 is 1, b1 is minus a half, b2 is a sixth. And we notice that the odd Bernoulli numbers, at least the odd ones 3 and above, all vanish. OK, now there should be a relationship between Bernoulli numbers and Bernoulli polynomials. So it is in fact given by this. If we take the integral of each Bernoulli polynomial for x from 0 to 1, we get this table of integrals. 1 half minus a sixth, 0, 1 30th, 0, minus a 42nd, 0, 1 30th. Um, and in fact, this should be extremely suspicious because these are exactly the same numbers we saw for the Bernoulli numbers, except for the zeroth one. So it's a homework problem for you to prove this relation, but you can certainly use this notebook to play around and do examples. Have fun.